Uh, now, with a welcome and one of the people who are experts in urban planning, uh, we are privileged to have here with us today the Acting Chair of the Department of Urban Affairs and Planning for Hunter College at the City University of New York, Professor. Thank you very much. Uh, it's my great pleasure to welcome you all to the Roosevelt House. Roosevelt House is the home of Hunter's Public Policy Institute, so it is only fitting that we are about to hear the findings of a study done by picture of picture the homeless and Hunter College Center for Community Planning and Development. This study represents the finest tradition of activist scholarship, where academic, academics partner with community groups to produce useful and actionable results. As an academic, I'm quite familiar with uh, this pattern. In normal research, the academics tend to have a say on what topics to research, what kind of questions to ask. Then they go to the community group for data, after that, they alone interpret the findings and come up with results and recommendations. This one is different. The questions came from the needs of the community. The research is done by Division of Labor. And the findings, interpretation, and conclusion recommendations are done jointly as well. Today, they are presenting the findings to the public in addition, they're using the opportunity to have representatives from the community to comment and respond to the findings. This is truly a, a study done from the community and back to the community. I'm really looking forward to the findings and again welcome you all. Professor Kwan was more than humble. The work that Picture of the Homeless has done over the last few years could not have been done without the staff, volunteers, interns, and students, many of whom were herded together by Professor Kwan. So that the results you see here today is not just the result of Picture of the Homeless, and it also <coughs> gives us the best of what we expect of academics, because him and some of his people, some of whom you'll be hearing from today, they actually did the legwork. They put together long hours in good weather and bad. They fought with some of the glitches in the computer system that we inevitably uh, encountered. And they also had to sit and talk, and more importantly, they had to sit and listen to homeless people and the needs of homeless people and interpret that in the language of the academics so that what is presented here today and what is done by the picture of the homeless is part of the documents and the legacy that takes us forward to a better New York. 